Hi guys, this is PLO Warrior at gmail.com. Right here, dude and dudettes. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Great, right, come here. Say hello. Say hello. Come on, say hello. Motherfucker. Come on, say hello. She says hello. We haven't made a video in a while because I've been uh, doing other things. Isn't it? Isn't it? All right, you can get down. Get out, get out! This is nothing too extreme. I just thought I'd make a video. <laughs> oh, the game of poker. Right. Um, the story of this is I was just taking a shower, basically, and then when I came downstairs, because my um, my poker client was open. But when I came downstairs, this tournament was just like running. I don't know what the fuck it was. I guess it was a free roll. Unless I registered for it and forgot about it. So, excuse me. Fucking dog hairs. Uh, so yeah, I came downstairs and it was running. So I didn't know what it was or anything. I didn't even look at the prize pool payouts, anything like that, just whatever. pretty much so I wasn't even going to play it but I just refused to set out so I just needed to lose all my chips obviously so first time you see I guess we started 1500 probably yeah and so obviously we've missed a few hands here so we just jam first hand because obviously we don't want to play this game and everybody folds and then we jam the next hand because we still oh we don't jam the next hand we just raise yeah but obviously yeah, I don't really want to play that's why I'm raising with king six early position uh, seven five same thing I go for a min raise instead of just a normal raise and literally everybody folds so I'm like this game is easy maybe I could probably win this <laughs> whatever it is I don't know so guy opens we go for a min free but we're just fucking around basically I was, just, oh, I was just clicking button, so I wasn't taking it seriously at all at this point. Uh, they defend. Terrible board for us, but we just lead out. See bet. Bet turn and get them to fold with our bottom pair. So we're just clicking buttons, just basically wanting to, to, to fear us. And we get a premium. The ace and the king. The nuts. And I just go for a min race. And then I go for a min bet. And then I go for a, a bit more than a min bet, and then I go for a, an over bet. Lull. See that? I was just clicking buttons, mate. Purely clicking buttons. But we're actually up to. Oh, we were up to. 2,000 chips, right? Why did it say 2,900? But then I'm on 2,000. I gave away 900 chips, apparently. That's wrong, surely. No, it can't be right. It should just be 2,000. Because it's just 360 plus that. So it should be like 2,061. And that says 2,901. It's incorrect. Anyway. On to the next. Oh, we need to... Uh, dun, dun, dun. Ruined it, mate. Ruined it. Still. Go for a min three bet pretty much. This guy opens minimum under the gun. It pulled in two spots. Just fold to the donk bet. Set against gutter and flush draw. Holy mackerel. We survived. As you can see by our stats, we're playing a very loose. A very, very loose. And we through rebet no we don't we raise a7 I was still not playing seriously at this point obviously still just fucking around just wasn't trying to win I was just trying to do weird things basically that was my goal bit small there check turn and hopefully win on river we do but it's just funny how you're fucking around 
clicking buttons and you're still winning chips, that's when you're like really good. That's when you've got major skill. Oh, I've got skill. Anyway, open queen nine suited. Yep, folds around to this dude who defends. Five or three, a rainbow. Five, four, three, O, oh, which means opposite or R for rainbow. Uh, he checks, and I bet small, and this is a terrible board for my raising range, but we're not talking strategy here, we're just fucking them up, basically. Clicking buttons, fuck them all. And then we hit the queen, oh, beautiful, mate. So I'd like, I just over shove, even though it's just a pot size bet. I just shove all in, because I know I've been clicking buttons everywhere. And he calls with an open ender. And he gets hits a six, but we win. And then that means we're down to this many people. So, raise a flat call on the button with a freeze. Checks all round. I actually fold here. Yeah, I took fold. I think at this point, I think it must be between the last hand which was the uh, queen nine and this hand. So yeah, as I knocked this person out with my queen nine suited, suited, um, I think I looked at the thing, um, the payout thing or whatever, and it was top three got paid. So I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six of us here and I'm second in chips, I guess. Yeah. So I, was like, I might as well win because first place was like 100 quid or something, which is like worth winning. I think there was only twelve. There was only twelve players that started, so I don't know what it was or why it was even open or why I was registered for it. But I thought, well, I'm two of six. Three get paid. I might as well win a hundred quid. It's got to be worth a few minutes of my time, surely. Yeah. So yeah, we've seen the threes already. Cool. So I think at this point I started playing properly. <laughs> Three bet. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe maybe it wasn't quite yet because I just shoved the ace three suited. There is three sixty in there. He's only got a thousand, and he's only got a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I shove. Good, great shove, mate. Make them fear me. The thing is, this guy was like, even though it says he played six percent of hands, I, I'm pretty sure he didn't play any hands. So this guy was actually sitting out. So I think that's why I shoved because one, two, three. Well, there's still three more people to go to get paid. So, but it's a consideration. He wants at least him, this guy, to bust first. And min raise the blinds are up now. So we did lose another person here. I think. Yeah, this guy's out. Now there's five of us left. So this guy's out. This guy's sitting out basically. I'm chip leader, obviously, as you do. So, Frederico min raises. I just jam it. He calls it off, mate. Queen Jack. Boom tings, but the boom tings. Right, so now we're down to four handed. This guy's sitting out, so this is what I wanted. This is why I basically made the video is that you need to use every available spot that you got, every tiny advantage in this game to gain an edge, you know. And even though I was fucking about and I didn't really just clicking buttons and whatever, just a free roll, whatever. I can still win. I've still got too many skills. So this guy here, let's see what they do. He raises. They have to wait for this guy to bust, pretty much. Have to wait for this guy to bust. So I just shove. I know it is risky. I don't really need to do this, and I'm only going to win 410 chips. But I, I enjoy making them fear me more than winning like third place money, <laughs> whatever, it, whatever it was. Plus, he has to just fold and wait for this guy like another two hands or something until this guy gets knocked out. Otherwise, he just goes away with nothing. And I'm still winning anyway. Even if I lose, I've still got 2k, two 2,200, 2,300 chips. So I can still get paid anyway. So for me, it's worth taking 410 chips. And like, he's literally only calling me bases and kings. 
and maybe like might even fold jacks for example maybe even queens depends how much of a nit they are not with these stats but uh, I'll talk about that in a bit so anyway I shove just to fear them and we open here this guy just like rips it in and yeah situation similar situation well exactly the same one as what happened the last hand against this guy but I'm not folding man I don't care you can have his, you can have ace king oh what happened you could have ace king but uh he has bum 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 aces so at least we'll be left with 2,000 chips boom or we could just flop quadruplets so we KO one two razzle dazzle he's got 25 chips bruh or is he in oh he's in already so I just pile it in just to win his 50 chips I like to keep this guy in the tournament because then this guy has to wait for him to go out. So uh, I might be able to nick a thousand chips of him. I'm probably not, probably not that much. I might be able to nick maybe 500 chips of him just from the blinds. But, or if he like open raises as well and this guy's still in the tournament with a few chips, I can just like shove and he just has to fold. So rip it in. And this guy does win, which is actually good for us. I want to get more of these chips. I don't know if this is a normal way to think, but this is how I think. Like when I play live poker sometimes, I remember a while ago, a few years ago, like I was trying to keep the bubble in the tournament. I was trying to, <laughs> I was huge chip leader and I was trying to, it was in a, in a three way pot and, I'm, and the short stack is all in. Uh, like the bubble was all in basically the short stack was all in it was on the bubble and me and this guy are heads up and he's like trying to check it down and I have absolutely nothing I've got ace five like no pair and I'm just thinking like I just want to bluff him off and give the give the bubble the stack <laughs> I don't know that's a good thing to do but anyway I bluffed him off the bubble he won with like two pair or something I have just ace high um, obviously the guy that bluffed off the pot got annoyed because he doesn't know why I'm trying to do that he's trying to get in the money then he tilted off his whole stack to me the next hand so and anyway yeah, when I won the tournament because I'm a beast um, shit you got me you got me ah this coffee mate yeah so he won he won anyway this guy so he's in I'm in as well nine chips mate bosh just cover normal raise I don't need to risk it all just like 240 is great for me because I still can win this in the middle anyway I can still win like his 51 chips and whatever I oh, know, actually, I can't win there, can I? But whatever, man. I'm just basically hoping this guy is going to win. But it doesn't look like he's going to win this time. So as I flop trips, boom, he makes the straight. Congratulations, mate. I just want to say, this guy has not played one hand in this tournament. And, like, he's finished in the money. Like, that's how easy it was. So, obviously, I should win. First place, like I'd expect. folds boom boom can't do it this time he can even after we flop the flush draw turn the pair boom he hits the five in the river but that's good for us this guy's just like oh man he's won again and i'm like fuck you homie boom shoving it can't win this time surely eight's there the deuce is there boom he's out He's out, ladies and gentlemen. So I just want to say that's the way I made the video is that obviously as a guy sitting out, you've got to use that to people's advantage. People want to ladder up, man. It's just human nature. They want more money. So you just don't have to care about getting knocked out. 
and you just got to put the pressure on him. So King Jack, Kojak. Oh, okay, just go for an open shot. But hey, he doesn't have that many blinds, right? What's 14 blinds or something? Yeah, shove it all in. Snaps me off, A7. Brick, brick everything. King six, offset, double raise. Definitely hits his range more than mine with the eight, nine, six, two clubs. But I did check back, thank you very much. I'm very proud of that. Mmm. Hit the king, mate. When he checks here, I just think he has nothing at all, bruh. Nothing at all. So, probably check back again, or a bit tiny. I think that's too big, bruh. Too big. He calls. Interesting. And we do river two pair. Gotta go for a value bet. And he shoves. That's gross, bro. That is gross. I can't actually remember what happened, but I presume I called. But they just always have it, man. It's nits. Absolute nit bags. Folded. I folded. Congratulations. I mean. Considering he called the turn, like we blocked top pair, and he might just raise top pair, should raise top pair, so he has to have like a seven or queen jack. If he had a hand like ten jack, he would never check raise the river like that. So he has to have a seven or queen jack. For sure. I also don't think he would just, if he had a flush draw. Well, if he had a flush draw, I expect him to bet a turn anyway. But I don't think he has a flush draw. And even if he did have a, somehow have a flush draw, I know I think he's check raising the river. He's a fucking free roll, man. You know what I mean? He won't do that kind of shit. Queens. The bitches. Just cram it in, mate. It's a bad uh, move. I think, no, wait, I did this because I think it was this hand, or it might be another hand. I think the hand before this, I just min raise and he just opened shoves. And then, so this is the very next hand. He raises and I just thought, if I shove, maybe it just looks like I. I mean, these are like, you know, first level thinking nooblets. I just thought, if I just do what he did, he might be more inclined to call me. Not. Anyway, he had an ace jack and he hits the ace, and now we're down to 2 7. With dire shape, mate, dire shape. Shoves, snap his head off, 8 9 suited. No good, mate. Then we've got a7, go for the min raise. Flop the triplets, but here, um, don't like that at all, mate. He like just check raises us and then we just like min four bet him or three bet him. Bet raise we min three bet him. Which is horrible. Horrible, horrible. And obviously he folds because he doesn't have anything. So that's badly played. But I mean we were fucking about, right? Well not at this point. We're trying to win at this point, so that's badly played. Got bet the gutter. Check raise. I'll just go for the call, I guess. I was back off on a 10 8 or jack, no doubt. And then when he shoves here, just have to fold. Let me get the kangaroos. Min raise. Call. 998. Check. Bet. Cool. Not the best turn card, but obviously never slowing down. Right, we're back in the chip lead now. And we get ace 10. We raise, he ships it. How many blinds is this? This is like 20 blinds, 25 blinds, something. Is it 25 blinds? 20 blinds is 4,000. Yeah, 25 blinds. I raise and he ships it and I snap his head off. Don't know if that's correct, probably not, but whatever. And we need help, and we need help, and bang, that's help. And we win the goddamn tournament, the true champion of the whole world. As you can see by my stats, I played crazy. Aggression f aggression factor of 
If you can get an aggression factor of 39.5, mm -hmm. over 144 hands, then I will salute you. But it's, I think it's really hard to do. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.